This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV, and we're very pleased to be joined today by Michael Noren, the CEO of Cavitech, to discuss this innovative company's role in the development of a fleet of autonomous zero emission ships. So Michael, you recently wrote for Maritime Reporter and Engineering News on a deal with Norway's ASCO Maritime to help develop the aforementioned fleet of autonomous zero emission ships. Uh, to start us off, can you give us a brief on that project and Cavitech's role? Sure. Um, well, the ASCO Maritime project, I think, is an incredibly interesting project. And I think anyone in our industry should be interested in it because it really points to the, the future of shipping. Uh, there's two dimensions to that. First of all, the ships will be fully autonomous, as you mentioned and they will also be zero emission ships, so battery powered ships. And of course at Cavatech, we're really excited uh, because the Moor Master, our automated mooring system will actually be, or is actually a key enabler for both of those aspects and, and neither would be possible without the Moor Master. And uh, let, let me explain what I mean. So for an autonomous operation, of course, you need automation also when the ship arrives at the port right? But there simply will not be anyone on the ship to throw ropes and nobody on the key to catch them. So uh, the more mass is that link between the ship and the port in, in, in this case. And likewise, the more mass is also the enabler for the uh, battery operations because of the, you know, the considerable time savings that you get from automated mooring. The vessel can use more time for charging. Um, where is the project today? And what is the timeline for it? Well, it's it's in planning today. And they the ASCO Maritime have, as far as I know, they have placed all the orders. I believe that it will be in operation at the end of next year. Can you give us a, a brief on more master, specifically the depth and the breadth of its installation base today? And right. then just a short also on some advantages for vessel owners and also uh, shoreside personnel. Sure. Um, I think I'll start with the benefits if we start there. And I think there's one word to summarize the benefits of, of automated mooring, and that is time. The substantial time saved. Uh, you know, we're talking about mooring happening in, in about 30 seconds instead of up to an hour that it can take to moor a large uh, ship today. And that in turn has a number of positive consequences. Uh, First of all, the, the, the financial benefit, which actually pays for the investment, right? And it comes from productivity, increased productivity. But then there's also two non-financial, but very substantial benefits of automated mooring. Uh, the first one being the safety benefit. And you know, traditional mooring with ropes and chains, is, it's hard, dangerous work. It actually leads to a lot of accidents and even deaths at ports around the world every year. So that can be completely eliminated. And then finally, the environmental improvements uh, because of the less time maneuvering the ship, less tugboat use, and also the possibility for slow steaming between ports. So that's, that's quite substantial as well. Coming back to your question about sort of the, the, the details of the installation and so on, well, we've just uh, launched a new generation of more master, which we call the NXG, right? Um, smaller footprint, you talked about the footprint. We actually we've, uh, achieved a 40% reduction in depth. So the footprint is about three meters times 1.2 meter. And the uh, smaller width, uh, especially it's very important because that means that we can fit more mass in a lot of uh, uh, container ports, especially where it has not been possible before because of the width from the edge of the key to the uh, crane rail, right? So that's very important. Okay. Easier, faster installation is, is, has also been uh, important for us when we redesign more masses. So we're now down to about 50 to 90% reduction in the total implementation time. And in addition to a drastic reduction in installation costs, so reduce the need for any changes or, or uh, to the berth itself, right? And then uh, finally, I'd like to mention also the intelligence that's been built in now for remote operation and monitoring. 
And Greg, what's really cool about that is that that's the basis for us to be able to roll out mooring as a service, uh, where we will put the units in place and then charge on a per use basis. We recently interviewed uh, the port director of Port Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and he specifically uh, noted Cavitex system on the Great Lakes lock system mm -hmm. as a technology that he felt would most significantly impact positively the business of all Great Lakes ports. Can you give us a brief on that project? Yeah, so the ports are installed, or oh, sorry, the, the, the Moor Master, the automated mooring or hands-free mooring system, as they call it, is installed in the, in the whole St. Lawrence Seaway, right? Today, a ship can actually sail all the way from the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes through, I think it's about 15 locks on the seaway without ever putting out the mooring line. Um, it's a very cool project where the moor master move vertical along the lock wall to keep the ship perfectly stable in place as the lock fills or drains with water, right? So this means that the lock can operate faster each time. And actually the throughput of the lock system has increased, I think about 25% as a result of the moor master uh, being installed. There's no business discussion that can be had today, unfortunately, without still referencing the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, can you give us a brief on how this has materially impacted Cavotech to date and what you, what's your outlook for uh, 2021 and beyond? Right. Um, well, the, the honest answer is that it's a mixed bag, right? On the one hand, the, the, the interest in finding solutions that increase productivity and efficiency at the same time reduces environment, uh, environmental impact. Uh, it's, um, we call it profitable sustainability solutions. That is really accelerating and we're seeing more interest than ever in having that, those type of conversations with, with, with customers, with potential customers. And, and we believe that we're very, very well positioned in that space as well. And more mass being one example, uh, as you may know, we're also very big in shore power, which is another area that is, is really growing. Uh, so we believe that, that that is a fundamental change in the market that's here to stay, actually, so even long term. Now, short term, we, as most businesses around the world, we're really feeling the impact of the uncertainty coming from the pandemic more than anything else. And we see that customers are being incredibly cautious and that the decision making around new investments is more prolonged and it involves more steps than, than maybe what we've seen before.